and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I wanted to share with you guys a recipe that my mom shared with me several, several years ago, and I still love it to this day. My boys actually loved this recipe too when she made it, so I'm gonna share it with you guys today. This is a chocolate chip peanut butter croissant, and it is so good, and it's so simple to make. All you're going to need is some mini Nestle Toll House morsels, some crescents, some croissants, and some peanut butter. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is preheat the oven to 375 degrees or 350 for dark or non-stick cookie sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so the first thing that you're want, gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pour your morsels inside of a small little container. It's just easier to access. And then you're gonna open up your croissants. After you open up your croissants, you're gonna take them out of the little package and you're going to spread them on the cookie sheet or baking sheet, whatever you're going to use. You're going to spread them out and then start to separate them. You're going to take your peanut butter and you're going to start putting some peanut butter on your croissants. Just spread a little bit of peanut butter on the croissant. After you spread, finish spreading the peanut butter, you're going to take your morsels and you're just going to sprinkle some morsels all on top of the peanut butter. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to start to roll them up. You have them all rolled up like this. You're gonna to wanna to take some sugar and you're gonna to wanna to pour some sugar on top of a plate just like this. Break up the chunks of sugar. And then you're gonna take your little croissants and you're gonna roll them in the sugar, just like this. Finished, you just put them in the oven to bake them until the crescents are completely brown as if you were going to just use crescents anyway. And this is what they would look like once they are completely finished. Obviously, they're very brown because that's what you want with the croissants. You want the croissants to cook like you would normally cook the croissants until they're nice and brown and crispy. And then you are ready to eat them. And that is a simple little recipe that you can make. And I tell you what, everybody will love them. Alrighty, so thank you guys so much for watching this quick little recipe with me. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you're going to try to make these. And when you do make them, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time on Angie Wonderland. Bye.